what's up guys welcome back once again it is me Molt. so happy to be here with you guys today i really really am um i had so much fun in the stream yesterday for those of you who didn't know I stream, uh, I always post a video on here before I do it, also on Twitter, so make sure that y'all follow on Twitter um, and that you check up on here. I'm probably going to be streaming again Tuesday, so just be on the lookout. We had so much fun. Uh, we went to kids who had like five viewers and and spammed the chat with Molt Bomb and got them up to like seven, eight hundred viewers. Uh, we hit about 1,600 viewers, I think. Um, had a whole bunch of raids, so on and so forth. It was a lot of fun. So uh, I'm definitely going to keep doing streaming because it really is like so, so fun. And it's a way for me to interact with you guys other than like reading the comments and not really being able to to do that and so on and so forth. But, oh, I'm sorry. Um, I forgot to do a $10 giveaway yesterday. Um, so I'm going to be picking two people from today from the comments um, <clears throat> I'm about to head out, pick up some Google Play cards, so there should be one Google Play and one iTunes card uh, winner. Just going to pick random people from the comments, guys. Uh, but what we're doing today is we're going to do a Lava Loonian attack strategy. Uh, as you can see, we have not that wall. Oh, no! I didn't want to get rid of that present. We have two Lava Hounds, 15 <clears throat> uh, minions, and 30 loons. And then we've got our Rage Spells, one Lightning Spell, and our Heroes. We've been doing okay. We're up in Masters 2 right now. Uh, my defense, so I made this base in the stream the other day, um, <clears throat> and it worked okay, but it started getting, it started losing to Balloonian. Uh, I designed it to help protect against like Barch and more of ground troop stuff, which it's done, uh, as you can see in a lot of these raids. Um, but a lot of people were getting, well, the further back we go, it's past that uh, base being built. So, we switched back to uh, this one because I'm getting attacked more by like uh, go wipe and things of that sort. So we're going to see how well this one holds up to that. Then we might tweak it a little bit uh, later. But we are saving our gold. I'm not upgrading walls anymore. I need to upgrade my air defenses. So we're saving up our gold. It is going to be a lot, a lot, a lot. But I'm definitely excited to uh, be up here in Masters because the loot bonus is so freaking good. It is ridiculous. Um... Five, six, seven, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, six, oh, seven, and then get this up to 480, there we go, alright, so I'm gonna go find a base for us to attack, we might show, well here, let's go ahead, um, I'm gonna replay this, my clan mate just shared it, uh, it's a pretty good raid, as you can see, he found a dead base with a good amount of loot. Anytime that I find bases like this, I definitely attack him, and he's just barching. I am in Eliminate Farms. I'm the leader of it. Uh, it's part of the Eliminate family. Um, we are the farming side of things, but I'm just pushing for you guys right now. Still farming, though, getting a lot of loot up in Masters from that loot bonus, but I just wanted to give uh, Josh Rye a little shout-out for that good raid right there. He got a lot of loot from those collectors. Um... Definitely make sure that y'all are keeping your things boosted. Boost them right now as you're watching this. Pull out your phone, pull out your iPad, and boost it because you got to take advantage of it while you can until it is gone. So let's go ahead and attack, and I'll be back with you guys in just a couple seconds. Hopefully we can find something with a good amount of trophies and we can get them all. All right, I'll see you guys in a few. All right, guys, so I think I'm going to attack this base. It has a good amount of loot. Um, we're going to see how this goes. There is that one air defense in the middle, but I'm going to drop my... Uh, my Lava Hounds off to the side so they get aggro, and then we're going to rage them up with our balloons. Here we go. Oh, why are they going into those? I didn't want them to go into that one, but okay. <laughs> uh, let's drop off some minions down here. Are there clan castle troops? It does look like there are some clan castle troops, but we still should be fine. I'm going to drop off a rage spell right there for the balloons when they feel like heading in uh, to the center. Come on, where are you going? Nope, turn around. No, there's a rage spell behind you, balloons. That rage spell is about to run out. I'm going to have to drop one in the exact same spot, too. And rage in the middle. Hopefully all of the uh, DPS, or not DPS, the AoE damage that the loons do will take out a lot of the stuff in the center of the base. Look at that. The town hall is almost down just from uh, the damage. That, oh, look at that. The balloons took out the town hall, guys, with all of their damage. So we are definitely going uh, to be getting a two-star 
on this, which is exactly what we wanted. I'll go ahead and drop off the rest of my minions to help get us up in there. We're going to use the King's ability, and let's just go ahead and use the Queen's ability so we can get up to that 50%. And finish this thing right there. There we go. We're going to end that raid right there and get 2,000 Dark Elixir, guys. Um, 100,000 Elixir, adding that up with the loot bonus is a great, great raid. So let's go ahead and go over that again. I'm going to try and explain to you guys um, what I did. So we are at 2,906 now. Awesome. I wanted to get up to 2,900. <clears throat> let's go ahead and replay this. And I'll explain to you all what I'm doing uh, as I'm doing it. So the... Uh, the point of the... Whoa, why is it counting down when it was paused? <laughs> it was counting down even though it was paused. So the point of uh, me dropping off my Lava Hounds, Lava Hounds, you'll see on the side right there, is to get the attention of the Archers and the Wizard Towers right there. So um, all of those are distracted right now. Um, so this air defense right here is actually in a different spot than this one is. There's a mortar over here. If there was, a, if there was an air defense right there, then that Lava Hound would have gone um, in that direction. But... You'll see that everything is aggroed on those, so now I can drop down my balloons, and they are going to be completely safe. Um, you can see the archers are still looking. This archer tower right here is now looking at the balloons. This archer tower, this wizard tower, um, these archer towers are all looking at the lava hounds still. So when we can, so then we can rage up our balloons. They will come in here and do some serious damage before they're even detected. That one lava hound over here is down now. This one is. Is he still up? Yeah, so he's still up right there getting hit by that Tesla. Um, but our balloons are heading into the middle. We raged a little bit early on that one, so I probably should have dropped down my king and queen uh, earlier so they could have come in and taken out those cannons. But it ends up not being too bad. So you can see right after they take down this air defense, they are going to head out to the cannons. But at least that way they do recollect and kind of come in in a large wave. Uh, that Rage Bell is still up and running in there, but I'm going to drop another one further up for the balloon since that one's about to head out. You can see the splash damage it is doing to the Town Hall. Watch right here. There it goes. It's almost down. So they head over here. There goes one more, and then one, two, and it is done. So that is awesome. If you, can, if you guys see a core of a base uh, that has a lot of defenses in it and you get like 10, 15 balloons in there, there you can take out the town hall very, very easily. So you have to keep that in mind as you are attacking um, with loons. If you can rage them up in the middle and they're flying around to all the different buildings, they are going to cause a lot of damage for you. Um, and then we just get our heroes up in here and we go to town with them, with the rest of our loons, and we get that 50%, guys. So if y'all want to try out um, Lavoonian, a lot of people say Lava Loonian. I think Lavoonian flows better. Um, that's just what I call it. I've always called it Lavoonian. Uh, so if you guys want to try that out, it does take a while to train up because of the Lava Hounds. Um, but I think it's a really, really good strategy, especially up in Masters. I did barge all the way up here uh, to Masters. I still barge sometimes. It uh, just depends on how much elixir I have and whatnot. But when you're barging up here, you have to be very, very patient and wait for a base that you know you can take out. Um, but I really just wanted to show that to you guys. We are still working our way up in our push to Masters. Um, but, oh. But this video, have I not finished that? I think I have, right? Yeah, okay. I was about to say, I haven't finished the single player maps on this account. Um, so we're doing good, guys. And I just want to thank you guys again for all your support. You guys rock. Make sure you stop by the stream. I was cracking up. You can go watch it. Uh, it was towards the end of the last stream, if y'all want to fast forward to that. Probably like the last 30 minutes or so. Um, but leave a like down below if you like the video, guys. Um, it helps me out a lot. It helps me out knowing that I'm doing something right. So I appreciate you guys. And as always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on them, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.